I think another part of the next generation I think about is too, is just like, how many, how many years have you played, you know, professional basketball? How many years is this now? Um, it's 20. I had 20 to take, years. yeah, I had to take like two seasons off for surgeries, yep. but I still played overseas. So it's like 18 years in the WNBA, 20 total. So 20 years. Okay. So take me to how you've taken care of your body, all those games, <laughs> because yeah. I mean, people don't understand, like, they have no clue, Sue. They got no, no clue. Uh, no clue, Sue. They have they have no clue, Sue, on yeah. how to take care of their body. Like you think about like all the work that it takes, not just to get here, but also to stay there. But not just to stay there and be like good, but like be the <laughs> best in the world. Like to be the top at your game, to be in the top, 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 top of the game. Like to be elite every day, every day, every week, every year. To Mm-hmm. give your team that chance to win it all every year you know give your team that, that that best chance like what does that look like what is your setup like how how have you taken care of your body for that many years because i'm i'm curious because I, I i'm i'm super obsessed with this process of the mental side the physical side the spiritual side the emotional side the mm-hmm. the stress that you have to take the weight that you have to carry you, you you're carrying seattle on your shoulders over here so all of that weight you know how do you how do you deal with that and what does that look like yeah. Um, I mean, what I ended up finding in, in the later part of my career, I wish I had had started when I was 21, you know, because I think you'll agree with this. It's, it's when you get to this level, what separates, you know, you from another quarterback, it's not like, you know, it's not huge, 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 huge reasons. It's not these yeah. big differences. It's like 1%, right? Like maybe you have a couple more touchdowns than the next guy you know, maybe have a couple more assists than the next player. It's not, you know, it's not these huge gaps, but that 1%, what I have found, it can, you can find it in your, in your body, in your health, in your conditioning, you can find that 1%. And where, where I live is, you know, and I've said this before, everybody's good at this level. Everybody's good. And for me as a basketball player, we can all do it in the first quarter. Most of us can do it in the second and the third, but not everybody can play at that high level with two minutes left in the fourth quarter. A lot of people get gassed. So my whole world right now revolves around not being tired at the end of the fourth quarter. Cause that's when you separate. Cause it's, it's not like people forgot how to shoot or forgot how to play. They're just tired. And so it all comes back to that. And then. So what, so what does that look like? So what does that look like? Like what, when you said that, I want you to keep going on this, but what does it actually look like in terms of like to not be tired in the fourth quarter? What are you doing to not be tired? Well, first of all, it all happened months prior to that, mm-hmm. yep. right? It's nothing, it's not like, I wish there was some magic pill I could take. That's not what's happening. So it's all about, I, I work with a, a strength coach, a performance coach, mm-hmm. and I joke. It's like, I text her and Megan the most of my life. Those are like the two relationships that are most important to me. Yeah. And every day, you know, we have a shared calendar. She, she lives in Portland. So um, it's we actually don't get to work in person as much as, you know, I think either of us would would like, but um, we have a shared calendar and every day I wake up or, you know, I can look at it a week beforehand. I kind of go through and I see like, all right, today is this, this, and this tomorrow is that, 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 what I'll say is those workouts are all geared around being fresh. So my workouts are hard, but they're not, they're not there to break me down. Mm-hmm. They're yeah. there to, to break me down just enough where I can recover keep going, and then keep going the next day. And then building and then building. Yeah. So I do a lot. So to get really specific, I'm in the pool a lot. I'm on the Peloton a lot. Yeah. Um, I do Pilates a lot. I'm on the court only two, three times a week. I'm not playing basketball every day. It would be too, at this point in my life, by the way, this is a 40 year old talking. I'm sure like a 22 year old Sue would be saying something different. I can't be on the court that much. It's like, I'm a tire. Okay. I'm a tire and I only have so many, so much tread left and I have to save my tread. That's yeah, yeah, basically yeah. what it is. It's true. And, I, I say that all the time. Yeah. You, gotta, you gotta save your tread. Keep going though. No, I was gonna say, and then, so I'm lucky enough, you know, lucky enough to work with somebody amazing who yeah. kind of tells me everything what to do, um, which is nice. I don't have to think, I just do it, which is the hard part. Um, and then nutrition. That would, oh. that's, that's the other thing that and sleep. I would say are, those are, are you, like the pillars. Are you like a, uh, so sleep, sleep and nutrition. So the things that I like, I feel like I'm really great at. Like I love swimming, I love moving, I love running, like I, all the agility stuff. I I'm fast, but I'm more quick than anything else. Like my awareness of what's around me, 
mm-hmm. think is something that I always constantly work on. Like you just see something that we, one day we, you, you and I and Megan, yeah, we're going to work out I'm together. Like, I want to like, come it, work out. It'll be yes. fun. Cause like all of the awareness stuff that I try to do, um, I don't like everybody seeing it, but all the awareness stuff that I do, <laughs> I can't give these young, young bucks clues, but, yeah. uh, <laughs> but all the, young, the all the, all the stuff that I, all the stuff that I try to do on awareness and everything else, what's around me and how I react Just really playing point guard, playing quarterback. It's all about reaction and, mm-hmm. and all that too. And so, you know, to me, that's a major part of it. And then ultimately, like, if I feel good, I'm going to play good. So I, that's one yeah. of the things that I always try to do. Like, I'm not trying to kill myself. Uh, you know, where I, where I hurt myself in the off season, but I'm trying to push myself where I prepare myself for the mm-hmm. full season. And so that's kind of like the cycle of like the, this longevity game that I'm trying to play. I, I think about the 20, right? Not about this year, but I think about the 20 years. Mm-hmm. I think about the whole cycle of it and what does that look like and everything else. And so the things that I, I grew up in Richmond, Virginia, I grew up in the East Coast, I grew up in the South. So like nutrition wasn't really a thing we thought about. Like we were going to, yeah. I grew up, I grew up broke. So we were, we, you know, we, we didn't have much. So we would go, you know, I'm, I'm getting, I'm, I'm getting quarters and stuff and dollar bills from the, 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 the the piggy bank and this and that just saving up trying to go get a burger or whatever it may be and yeah. everything else and so but now like life has changed and it's shifted and so now as i'm thinking about the last 10 years of my career or 10, 12 years of my career of however long it may be plus years i as i think about that it's all about you know sustaining this ability to perform at a high level and the process of it, the mental side of it but also the nutritional side which is, is something that, you know, growing up in Virginia, East Coast, you know, it's different. But then also, too, as well, is this whole sleep thing. And so, you know, you, you try to balance it. And to me, I had this weird, weird philosophy. Okay, I'm going to tell you my philosophy. Okay. okay. So as I go into my philosophy, this is, this is, this is, this is know, like, three's philosophy. Okay, so, so what I do is <laughs> hey, play the game on Sunday. I don't sleep after a game at all. My no, adrenaline is just rolling. So like you, you're yeah. very similar to me. So like, I, I can't sleep. So my adrenaline is rolling. So take Sunday night out. I'm, 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 I'm not asleep. I'm not sleeping at all. So I may have gotten maybe four hours max, probably three realistically. Mm-hmm. So Monday I get up, I move around, I get treatment right away. First thing around, you know, six o'clock, seven o'clock in the morning. First thing. Then you go into, you know, Tuesday, Monday night, I don't sleep very much really either because I'm watching a bunch of film or, you know, trying to catch up and get ready for the next week. Tuesday, not much. So basically Monday through Thursday, I probably I probably get the maximum five hours of sleep a night. Maximum. Mm-hmm. Right. So mm-hmm. like it's it's one of those things I think because I think that you've, you've won and listen, listen. In, in f- playing football there's so much information you have to take in like game planning and i got 450 plays a week pretty much yeah, so there's crazy. there's stuff every day and changing and formations and all that stuff and all this stuff you got to know but as i'm thinking about that for five hours you know max I, I feel like monday tuesday wednesday thursday i can be really 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 great off of five hours of sleep and then when i hit friday which is date night i'm not sure if you guys do date night, but we do date night. <laughs> so friday friday we hit date night and then you know we, we have our little date night do a little thing. And then next thing you know, I, I get my sleep and I rest like crazy on Friday night and then Saturday night. And I get about eight, nine, 10 hours of sleep Friday, Saturday. And then my awareness level, boom, it's like this. And it's like, I've been going all week for five hours, every day, all, all day meetings from 6 a.m. to, you know, seven o'clock at night and just working and then to get treatment and everything else. And then next thing I know, Friday, Saturday, it's when everything becomes really still and really calm. And then boom, here comes game day. And so, you know, so I, I've been working on the sleep thing, but I'm going to send you just, just because you, you talk, mentioned sleep and I'm not sure how much, how many hours of, of sleep would you say you get like before a game? Like, do you sleep well? Yeah, I sleep pretty well. Yeah, you, I you have, so, and my, my issue is like, I can fall asleep two seconds. Yeah, I'm snoring I'm, right I'm away. out. Yeah. As soon as I hit the bed, then, I'm gone. Yeah, I'm gone. Um, but I will, I do suffer. There are some bouts of like, you know, those, you know, what are they called? The witching hours. It'll be like 3 a.m. And I'll be like, wide awake. Yeah. For like an hour. So those, those I struggle with. What, a little what do you bit. do? You hop on the gram or something? What are you doing? In the, no, I know. Oh God, don't forget <laughs> it. That would be, <laughs> um, I've, I'll, I've started to put like, just like sometimes just, you know, ambient noise behind something to like take my mind and just like away from whatever it is I'm thinking about and settle it. It could be a movie. It could be music. Just like noise yeah. that I can that can distract me. That actually helps a lot. But I've, I mean, if I had to guess, I'll say eight hours. 
Sometimes more, sometimes less. Yeah, you sleep good. So I'll, yeah. I'm gonna sl- I'm gonna send you and Megan a new bed. I'm gonna send you guys a new <laughs> just because just because oh I'm serious. I'm gonna send you guys a molecule mattress, Arctic Lux. Oh yeah, bed, yeah. Because I know, I know you guys like, we like got performance. A molecule. We we gotta yeah, it's good. I'm gonna send you a brand new one, Arctic Lux. It's gonna be cool. You guys and sleep. we have the um air purifier. Thing. Oh, it's the best. It's yeah, the best. The, so, the, yeah, whatever it's called. I'm gonna shoot it to you guys because we gotta keep winning championships. Like we we gotta that's keep true. doing our thing. So you know I gotta that's make sure true. I take care of you guys. If that's the key, performance. Sign me up.